What is up guys, Jeremy here and welcome back to another video. So I'm going to show you guys how to fix your cellular connection for any of you that are having issues with it on the iOS 10 jailbreak. Now I personally haven't had any issues with it, but a lot of people have been asking me, you know, uh, I jailbroke my device and now my cellular isn't working, LTE, uh, 4G, 3G, it's it's not working. So I'm going to show you guys how to fix it in this video. It's It's actually... Pretty simple, pretty simple and straightforward. I do want to mention everything that I show you guys in this video will be listed in the description. So in case you guys would rather just see a written version of the tutorial, you can find it down in the description, like I said. So the first thing you're going to need to do is go into Cydia and you will have to download and install um, two packages from Cydia. The first one being M Terminal. This is an application from Cydia. So go ahead and install this application. The next package you will need is OpenSSH. So go ahead and install this as well. Now once you have both of those packages installed on your device, we're gonna go ahead and open up mTerminal. This is what the application looks like. So we're gonna go ahead and launch mTerminal and I'm gonna get you guys a bit closer here so you can see what I'm doing. All right, so now once you're in Terminal, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to type is SU and then click Return. And the password by default is Alpine, all lowercase, A-L-P-I-N-E. Go ahead and click return again. Now, these, uh, these next strings of code, like I said, it'll be in the description. Uh, you need to type these out 100% correct. They are case sensitive as well. So if there's a capital letter, that letter has to be capital. Like I said, it's case sensitive. So the first thing you're going to write is ch M O D space seven 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 space forward slash var. So go ahead and type that in. Once you've typed that in, click return. Now we're going to do that again. C H M O D space seven 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 space forward slash var. And then the next part is forward slash again and mobile, all lowercase. Now once you've typed that in, click return again, and we're gonna repeat it again, C-H-M-O-D space 777 space forward slash var forward slash mobile and then forward slash capital L I B R A R Y library with a capital L go ahead and click return once again and we're going to repeat it again so C H M O D space 777 space forward slash var forward slash mobile forward slash library with a capital L and then forward slash again preferences with a capital P P R E F E R E N C E S just like so so again do each one of these commands one by one make sure they're all case sensitive like I said capital L capital P you have to match it 100%. Click on return one more time and that is all we have to do within terminal. So now from here, what you're gonna to wanna to do is actually reboot your device. So I'm gonna go ahead and hold the power button and I'm gonna to slide to power off. All right, my device is done booting back up so we're gonna go ahead and unlock it. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is obviously run the mock portal to re enable your jailbreak. So we're gonna go ahead and run the mock portal. Hopefully it gets it the first try. As I've said in previous videos, I've been saying it all the time. This is the buggy part of the jailbreak. So there it actually did fail. Uh, it's forcing me to reboot again. So we'll try it one more time. Alrighty, so we finally got the jailbreak re-enabled. That's the buggy part of this jailbreak. Uh, like I've said in previous videos, getting the mock portal to put your device into the jailbreak state 
that's the buggy part. It can take quite a few tries. Uh, I'll probably keep all my tries in video, but I'll just fast forward it for you guys so you can see. But uh, after you've entered all that code within M terminal and you've done it exactly to how I've shown you and rebooted your device and re-enabled the jailbreak, your cellular connection should be good to go. So that is how you fix the cellular problems on the iOS 10 jailbreak. Again, like I said, everything is listed in the description. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.